click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the periodic trends of that is D block elements and now in this topic we are going to talk about the, the thermal stability of the transition metal compounds. So in that case let me talk about this topic very clearly. So friends, the thermodynamic stability of the transition metal compounds can be shown in the basis of the ionization enthalpy. So suppose if I am talking about the compounds like suppose if I am talking about nickel 2 and suppose if I am comparing it with platinum 2. So it has been found that is the nickel 2 compounds are more thermodynamically stable compared to that of platinum 2. The reason behind that is it has been understood that is if less amount of energy or suppose if low ionization enthalpy is required to convert a particular atom to its respective ion and in this case suppose we are converting that is nickel to Ni2 plus ions. So in this case if the energy required to convert a particular atom to its ion is less or if the ionization enthalpy is less then it has been found that is the compound is more stable in nature. So in this case Conversion of nickel to Ni2 plus it requires that is two ionization enthalpies and the two ionization enthalpies are basically we could write it here as ionization enthalpy 1 and ionization enthalpy 2. So that means I am summing up all those the ionization enthalpy and in that case we will get to know that is the ionization enthalpy it has been found to be 2.49 into 10 raised to 3 kilojoules per mole. And suppose if I am talking about the example where we have to convert the platinum to its respective ion that is Pt2+. So in this case also we have to that is we have to show the ionization enthalpies and in that case basically the ionization enthalpy 1 or the first ionization enthalpy as well as the second ionization enthalpy it would be required so as to convert this platinum into Pt2+. And in that case we have got to know that is 2.66 into 10 raised to 3 kilojoule per mole of energy is required or this is the ionization enthalpy for converting Ni to Ni2 plus and for converting Pt to Pt2 plus. So in this case we will get to know that is the conversion of nickel to Ni2 plus it requires lesser energy compared to that of the conversion of platinum to Pt2 plus. So that means the nickel 2 plus ions or the nickel 2 plus compounds are very much stable compared to that of Pt2 plus ions. But suppose if we compare it with Ni4 plus ions as well as if we compare it with Pt4 plus ion and let us understand that is which one would be more stable or which one would be more thermodynamically stable. So during the conversion of that is nickel to Ni4 plus ions or suppose if I am talking about those compounds which have a oxidation state of 4. So in this case the ionization enthalpy or the sum up of all the ionization enthalpy that is ionization enthalpy 1, ionization enthalpy 2 along with that of ionization enthalpy 3 and ionization enthalpy 4 it was found to be around 11.29 into 10 raised to 3 kilojoules per mole. But suppose if we talk about the ionization enthalpies or the sum up of all the ionization enthalpy to convert platinum to Pt4 plus. In this case the platinum has an oxidation state of 4 or those compounds which have that is the oxidation state of platinum as 4. In that case we have got to know that is the overall or including the first ionization enthalpy, second, third and fourth ionization enthalpy. So in that case we have got to know that is the value is 9.36 into 10 raised to 3 kilojoules per mole. So if we compare it with the ionization enthalpy, so in that case we will get to know that is the platinum is the one that requires lesser energy compared to that of the conversion of nickel to convert into its plus 4 oxidation state. And that's the reason that platinum 4 is more stable compared to that of the compounds which have nickel 4 as an oxidation state. And that's the reason that this was a topic related to the thermodynamic stability and this is all we can talk about on the basis of ionization enthalpy. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have got an idea that is which compounds or which ions are basically more stable compared to that if we compare it with the ionization enthalpy and that's it. 
So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.